Hey guys, this is the Canadian Baconer, and in this video, we're going to be talking about Ghost Recon Wildlands. Now, just a couple of days ago, we got a brand new trailer entailing this game, and we got a bit more information as to what this game will be, or possibly will be including. Now, for those of you who do not know what this game is about, it's pretty much a gigantic open world uh, survival type game where you and three other friends can go ahead and uh, do these co-op missions in this gigantic map. Now the story behind Wildlands, supposedly you and your crew are supposed to be kind of dealing with the drug wars within Bolivia and you're trying to take out the head of the drug cartel to pretty much, you know, end the drug wars and hopefully bring peace to like Bolivia or whatever. There are a lot of elements within this game that I'm really enjoying and things that we have not really seen in previous games. Now a gigantic part of this game is going to be how the environment actually affects the players. So pretty much, like I said, this map is going to be gigantic, which is obviously going to offer a lot of these different kind of environments. These gigantic open plains that we saw, these mountainous ranges, forests, and all that stuff. And all of these different environments will accommodate better to certain situations. For example, if you want to have like a better time doing stealth missions, it may be a better option to actually go ahead to the jungle and, you know, do it there. It's also going to be a wide array of vehicles, including buggies, cars, motorcycles, trucks, and supposedly there's going to be a tank. I don't know how that would work, but, you know, it could be really, really cool. Now, this game is mostly going to be in third person, but there will be a bit of a maybe like a first person toggling feature uh, for certain engagements, you know, for aiming down sights or whatever. Just like we've had in previous Tom Clancy's games, but you know, I, I just think it looks really cool nonetheless. Like I mentioned, it's going to be a more of a, an open world survival game, so we could be getting that survival aspect that we've had in like Daisy, Arma, and those kinds of games, like being able to have certain customizations and, you know, search for rations. I doubt they're going to be that complicated with a game like this, but they did mention in the trailer that they're really trying to survive as soldiers for months at a time, so they could be opening up to, you know, possibly having these survival aspects like I just talked about. Now, to my knowledge, you're only going to be able to have four people on a single server. I don't think it's going to be like Daisy or anything where you can have like 50 people on a server. It's pretty much just going to be you and your friends. But, you know, I could be wrong about that. It would be really cool to have um, different squads going up to different areas. But I think that would get a bit too crowded at some point and may open this game up to like trolling and or hackers or whatever. I, I don't know. But overall, I'm really excited about this game and I can't wait for it to be released. It will be releasing sometime in 2016, so just keep an open ear if you guys are hyped about this game like I am. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed, feel free to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys are not subscribed already for more content like this. Thank you guys for checking out this video as always, and this has been the Canadian Baconer. Stay crispy, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.